I'm so glad y'all are here in the kitchen with me because I'm getting ready to get my supper cooked because I got company coming and uh, I just want to be able to visit. So I'm going to go ahead and do it a little early and then I can heat it back up, y'all. And what I'm doing is a marinated pork tenderloin. Uh, it's probably one of the easiest proteins that you can cook. It's hard to mess up a pork tenderloin unless you overcook it. You don't want to overcook it. And uh, this has been marinating overnight, y'all. And the marinade is um, a dry red wine, soy sauce, honey, and a little cinnamon, fresh ginger grated, fresh garlic, and green onion tops, and a little brown sugar. Little brown sugar ain't never hurt nobody. All right, so I'm cooking this along with root vegetables, y'all, uh, which I adore. I adore. And you can use anything that you like, whatever your favorite root vegetables are, and turnip, turnip roots and rutabagas and parsnips are my absolute favorite root vegetable to cook this way. So you'll want to make sure that uh, you cut your vegetables as close to the same size so that they'll cook in the same amount of time. So just get them as close to, that's a little bitty one, uh, just get them as close to as you can for the same size. I don't think I'm going to cut that one again. That, that looked a little big. Okay. And I've got my carrots. Now, this may be a little challenging because, as you know, carrots have a little onion. So it's going to be hard to have these same size as our others, but we're going to go for it. Okay, rutabagas. Oh my gosh, I do love rutabagas. And uh, my brother-in-law uh, showed me how he liked to cook rutabagas. And y'all, it is so, so good. Uh, you just cube them up. Well, look for the recipe. It's called tugboat turnips. And uh, Hank used to cook these on the tugboat for the crew. But it's like brown sugar, carrots, rutabagas. It's just out of this world. And rutabagas are hard as a piece of concrete, y'all. And I adore, adore, adore parsnips. To me, I, I like those better than I do carrots. All right, so that's, we got it. Now, I'm just going to toss it in some olive oil. Which olive oil you think I got to use? Y'all, I'm so thrilled about uh, my line of olive oil. I've met these people that just make so many different flavors of olive oil. And uh, I've been using the, uh, the orange, orange uh the, yeah, the blood orange olive oil on my salads, and it's so good. It tastes just like you squeezed a fresh orange over your greens. It's so good. All right, so here I've got uh, balsamic, peach, blood orange, bacon, butter, mo butter. <laughs> Can you see them, Eddie? Red apple, lime. Remember with your pork tenderloin, you've got a marinade. So Herbs and champagne. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to do a little butter olive oil. I think that that will complement, I think that that will complement the vegetables and the tenderloin. So that's what we're going to do. And that is, that is um, one of them that we carry in the store. We don't carry all yeah. of those flavors. 
I wonder if if uh, we offer all these flavors maybe on a website somewhere. Because uh, I sure really. would love for y'all to be able to sample <laughs> sample these because they're out of this world. All right. So I'm going to salt these. And I'm going to put a little cracked pepper over them. Okay, so uh, my recipe that's online for this tells you to um, put your tenderloin in at the same time you do the root vegetables. But it really, really doesn't take more than 25 minutes at the most to cook a pork tenderloin. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bake these off and uh, let them get about half done, and then I'll put the pork tenderloin on there because I do not want that pork tenderloin to overcook. So that's my story, morning glory, and I'm gonna stick to it. <laughs> okay, y'all. Now I'm putting our tenderloin in here. That his marinated overnight and I'm going to just use a little bit of whoa <laughs> just a little bit of our marinade on it and so I'm going to put this in the oven back in the oven because I part cooked our vegetables so I let my vegetables go in that marinade and it's going to be so so good and like I said, I think about 25 minutes will do it. This looks so delicious, y'all. Like I said, it's one of my favorite proteins to cook. And uh, I checked it. I'm just going to take a little bitty bite because I got company coming in. This is dinner. Uh, let's see, what, what do I want to what vegetable do I want to have with it? I think a turnip. Look how pretty you never even can tell. Mm. It's been a long time since I cooked a pork tenderloin in this way because Michael has kind of taken over the cooking of pork tenderloin. He likes to stuff it with his skinless sausage and cook it on the grill, and it's so good, and I don't argue with him. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I could eat every one of those root vegetables by myself. I think y'all will like that. And, of course, excuse me. If there's anything in the marinade that I'm sharing with y'all that you don't like, you'd rather not use them, you know, find your own marinade or, or just put together things that really you like to profile. And uh, it's just delicious and easy, easy, easy. The hardest part is peeling and cutting those root vegetables, y'all. <laughs> so I apologize for that. <laughs> but... I still send y'all love and best dishes. Yum. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.